Hi, and welcome to this video uh, that's demonstrating our contracts management system. Our contracts management system is built using SharePoint Online and Power Automate to automate the workflow engine in the background. So this is making use out of the Microsoft 365 tools and doesn't require any additional licenses um, in order for it to work. I'll come back and explain the home page of the contract management system in a moment. But let's take a little look at the contracts in the background. So this is all using SharePoint's document library functions, where we can upload documents and tag them with specific metadata, which is going to be used by our workflow engine to send out reminders uh, when contracts are almost um, expired, as well as sending out reminders when contracts have actually expired. Now, the way the system works is that we have a document uh, which is tagged with uh, certain information, such as um, who the supplier is, um, as well as a contract owner. So this is the actual internal person um, at our organization. And if we were to click on them, we can see their contact information if we wanted to reach out to them specifically about this contract. We can see the contract type and even filter by certain fields like contract type to maybe show us all the, um, for example, legal agreements that we have, and we can see them like so. Um, so we can actually then unfilter this. So just untick that, click on apply. Um, and we can see the contracts by their effective date as well. So again, we can sort and filter by these, or we could just order them, say, for example, older to newer, um, to see ones which are um, uh, got an older date. We can see uh, the cancellation reminder date. So this is a date where actually um, a reminder will be issued to the contract owner to say that this particular contract is uh, nearing its expiry. And then we have the actual expiry date. So we can see any documents uh, or contracts which have actually been expired. We then have the status of the document. So documents um, go through um, a couple of different statuses. So by default, they'll be active when they are live. Uh, when they are past their review date, um, or the reminder dates, it will then be set to review, which means that the email has been sent to the contract owner to ask them to review that specific contract. And then um, if they choose to cancel them, they can actually cancel um, the, the contract altogether and that will mark it as uh, cancelled. Um, it's really simple and really easy to add a new contract. We can click on upload, click on files, and then we can choose to upload, for example, this example contract. Once we've uploaded, we can actually individually select documents to edit their properties. Or if you wanted to even do this in bulk, you could always click on edit in grid view and you can actually edit multiple properties of these contracts um, in a spreadsheet type of view. So it might be, for example, we put in the supplier name and we'll just put in example supplier uh, contract owner. So we're gonna put in um, someone who works here. So we can say Steve, uh, the contract type is, is going to be a, uh, fixed price the effective date is when it starts so this is where we then say the effective date is today and then we can then automatically uh, calculate that the system will automatically calculate then the cancellation reminder date as well as expiry date now typically um, we would have this set to um, sort of three months um, before the um, expiry date and the expiry date is typically 12 months uh, after the effective date but we can specify this and we can even add different frequencies for different contract types into here as well so now if I click on um, the exit grid view very shortly um, this will automatically then calculate for me my reminder date and my expiry date as you can see now, it's automatically generated the expiry date being one year after um, the effective date and the reminder date is three months before the expiry date. And it's also set the status automatically to active. So now that will sit there until that date. Once it hits, it goes past, um, for example, the 5th of October 2023, it will then set this to a yellow uh, reminder uh, and it'll send an email to Steve. Um, then once it's uh, actually, if it does get to the state of expiry, it will turn this red um, and it will uh, send an email as well to Steve to say that it's expired. The statuses will also change the review once it's gone past this reminder date. Um, and once it's actually past expiry date, it will automatically have set itself to cancelled as well. So going back to the home page. Um, now we've seen the documents and the way this is listed out, we can see um, there are tiles which will take us to specific areas of these documents. So for example, my contracts, when I click on this, this will filter by every document that has actually been assigned to me as a contract owner. Um, I can also see all contracts by clicking on the button here. I can see upcoming contracts. So these are contracts which are actually um, past their kind of reminder dates. So it's something that I need to go in and take a look at. 
Um, I've also got things like contract help. So this might take me to a page or a video which is going to help me um, understand this system and how to use it. We've also got contract report. So this could be either using SharePoint's out of the box functionality to see um, the amount of contracts by status or by contract owner, or we could even plug in, for example, Power BI to give us a lot more in-depth detail about those specific contracts. On the homepage, we also have news. So news is a great way of kind of uh, sharing with the wider organization what's going on with contracts. So maybe it's, for example, a new mobile phone contract or the expenses uh, um, app or something like that is no longer being used or being replaced. So changes in contracts can often have uh, consequences or uh, lead to changes in the day-to-day -day working lives of our employees. So by creating these news articles, we can push that into our wider internet so that people can be aware of what's uh, actually taking place. We can also see contract managers. Um, so these might be contacts where people might want to reach out to and speak to them. Again, by clicking on them, you can see their contact information, as well as useful links. So there might be useful links to uh, document templates like mutual NDAs or contract policies, which might live in, in your overarching kind of document management area, um, FAQs, or even reporting uh, if there's a potential issue with a contract, for example. And at the bottom, we can also see latest contracts, so things which have been updated recently will then show up in this scroller across the bottom of the page page. Uh, the home page can be customized so we can add different what we call views, so sp specific filters that you want to go directly to. Um, maybe they're, they're um, filtering by specific areas of, of the department, for example, um, then we could go to them or sp specific types of contracts or anything that you might want to quickly jump into. We can create buttons that go specifically to those areas. Um, If you currently have a lot of contracts um, and you're maybe talking tens if not hundreds of thousands of contracts that you want to quickly get into this contract management system without having to upload them all manually and tag them all individually, then Microsoft also offer a, another product which is called SharePoint Syntax, which is essentially an AI tool which will allow you to bulk upload documents and then the AI will scan the documents for key information such as uh, contact name, address, email addresses or um, any other types of information that you might want to automatically pull out from that contract and then store it inside the SharePoint list. So this is what this would look like, uh, uploading a document and it would uh, scan this for the information, take this information and then automatically populate those fields that we were looking at inside of SharePoint. Another additional um, potential additional option um, you may wish to do is actually have uh, documents being signed um, when contracts are being renewed. Now we can use an integration with Adobe um, to have a, a Adobe uh, signatures place with the documents, which means that when documents are being um, sent out or, or they're being um, due to be updated um, as part of that process we can also send out uh, a digital signature so that people can sign those documents and then that will automatically update the contract with a signature at the bottom um, before it then updates itself with a new expiry date. Our contracts management system is a set of building blocks that can be configured um, to your specific requirements. So if there's some additional fields that you wanted adding into the library or specific steps you wanted adding into the workflow, we can customize this specifically for your requirements.